bustling, you know, seven years ago was a big crime. And what happens is the legislature begins just to mount legislative solutions that don't necessarily represent the big problem. And the problem that you raise is that there is a huge governance deficit. There needs to be a governance, uh, I believe, like a conference uh, one year, very soon, where we evaluate every branch of government, every government agency, and every board. Because what happened in the Regional Housing Authority when they collapsed and that bond uh, was defaulted on uh, was set up differently than your retirement board that you're talking about. And when I say they're set up differently, the legislature will create a lot of small governments. Um, but depending on the legislature, they set different standards of oversight. And so the, the Regional Housing Authorities didn't have to submit a budget, <coughs> didn't have to submit a budget uh, to a major state agency. And so what they were doing uh, was out open, but they weren't allowed, they weren't required to submit a budget, yet I'm required to submit a budget. And the ERB has different standards as well uh, than the State Investment Council. And so the legislature, what I'm pushing, and what this is, one thing I can share with you as, as from the auditor is that the legislature needs to look at every agency and set a baseline best practices of what, how much oversight is enough for the citizen and apply it equally to everybody. So the city of Albuquerque shouldn't have a different oversight structure uh, than, um, than a retirement board. And so really the, the, the visionaries of the legislature need to sit down and say, are we having that kind of accountability problem because maybe an investment went sour or there was a, a someone that embezzled, potentially. Those are problems that come and go, those are cyclical. But is government really being uh, responsive and applying the same standards of accountability? Citizens want more accountability, which is great about Obama. He's saying it's more accountability. But nobody's really defined that for us yet, what that is. And so the, the ERB, in terms of your investment uh, board, I think what will happen is they'll look at your performance to look to see if there was any, um, and the law actually on the third party referrals was that there was not even a, a transparency or a, a disclosure requirement till, till, till now. And what I'm saying is that why, why are you gonna make a transparency disclosure law for third party finders fees? If that fund went sour because there needed to be more transparency, why not do that inventory of every government entity now? And don't piecemeal that problem so we have problems in government contracting, construction. We have problems with uh, retirement. We have problems with timesheet uh, <coughs> issues. We've got all kinds of issues, and yet we really haven't taken a systemic look at reforming everybody fairly and equally and setting a benchmark standard of what they, they have something now, a benchmark. Follow the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. 